it's fairly common that we have both interaction effects and nonlinear effects from log transformation in the same model. The interpretation of these effects is done by plotting as well and you need to take that into account when you construct the plot. So uh, let's first review the log transformation. The idea of log transformation is that we take a log of our, either our dependent variable or any of the independent variables and that changes the interpretation of that variable to relative units. For example, if we're saying that the uh, prestige depends on log of income, then our uh, interpretation of beta 2 here would be how much our uh, prestige will inc increase if income increases 1% relative to the current level. So we are talking about relative effects of, of uh, income changes to prestige. We can also do the, the other way around. So we have log of income as the dependent variable. We have prestige as the dependent variable. Then the interpretation would be how much income increases relative to the current level when, uh, the, when prestige increases by one point. So uh, this make, log transformation makes a lot of sense for certain kind of variables. For example, income, the, the raises that you get are usually in uh, relative terms. And if you think what's the utility of each additional euro, it diminishes as your salary goes up. So you need more raises. So if you have 1000 euros per month, then adding uh, 1000 more is a huge effect. If you have a 5000 euros per month salary, then increasing that by 1000 euros, it's, it's a lot, but it's not as huge difference as for somebody who makes just 1000 euros per month. So relative effects are done with log transformation. So how do you combine these with interaction effects? This is the uh, a model estimated with uh, Stata. So we have uh, <coughs> prestige and women. We have education and prestige and prestige women. We have income and log of income as the dependent variable. So uh, we know this far that interpreting this model requires that you plot. So you calculate uh, what is the, uh, the fitted value for, for prestige, for income as a function of prestige, holding education at mean and comparing uh, different levels of percentage woman. So we could calculate the marginal prediction of percentage woman is zero, 50 and 100, holding education at mean and uh, varying the prestige. The log transformation here complicates things a bit, but not by, not by much. So instead of calculating uh, the predictions directly, we calculate predictions using the exact same procedure. And then we just take exponential of those predictions. So instead of predicting lines, we predict a line and then we take an exponential of that line. How does it, it looks like that in, this is from Stata again, margins plot command. And uh, we have linear effects here and we have a uh, curvilinear effects here. So these are relative effects. We have effect of, of increasing prestige on income for male dominated professions and women dominated professions. And here we have the same, same effects with lines. And as you can see, the interpretations are quite different. So for here, women get no income at all as a function of prestige, so no increase at all. Here they get a, a, a relative increase but the absolute increase is less than for men dominated professions. We, how do we know which one of these lines, set of three lines fits the data best? We can uh, do that by simply uh, adding the uh, observations to this plot. So we can have a plots like that. And each circle here presents a combination of, uh, each circle here is uh, one profession. So we have prestige for that profession and we have income for that profession. The, the size of the circle presents the number of women. Uh, the smallest circles are no women in that profession. The largest circles are all women in that profession. And here we can see that these sets of lines, this set of lines explains the data a lot better because here, for example, there are no observations here. So we are extrapolating here. So it doesn't really fit. And uh, these are, are way too off for this line, and particularly if you look at the confidence intervals or prediction intervals. Then we have here, we can see the prediction intervals here are large, which means that uh, some of the observations can be up here. And also we have the, no uh, observations here. So one way of, of uh, ruling out 
outlier as an explanation for lines or assessing which series of, set of lines explains the data better is to just plot the data and the lines in the same plot and that allows you to compare.